I'm gonna turn the recording on guys so we can have a recording. We're grateful to the Lord to see everyone out tonight on this Wednesday, December 16th. Praising God for how he's blessed us and brought us through another week. How many, mm -hmm. anybody shovel any snow yet? Anybody did any shoveling yet? Mm -hmm. Oh, we, yeah, we're still outside looking at it. Okay. It'll be there tomorrow. You know? <laughs> right. It's good to see everybody tonight and we're glad that we're here. We're going to open up um, with a selection, an opening selection. Oh, my tambourine upstairs. So, since we was, um, since we, we was going to be fellowshipping together, amen? Amen. And, so we, and, and, and since it's a small enough group, we can even open up our mics if you guys want to. And let's uh, sing, um, Jesus, Jesus, oh, oh, what a wonderful child, child. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, the so holy, meek and mild, new life, life new hope, is hope, new joy, to bring. Bring. listen to the, the angels, angels. Glory. 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 glory, glory, glory to the new born king, Jesus, Jesus, oh Jesus, oh, oh what a wonderful, wonderful child. child. Jesus, 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 so holy, meek and mild. New life, new hope, new joy, new joy to bring. Listen to the angel sing. Glory, glory, glory to the new born King. Yeah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Psalms 26, mm -hmm. Old Testament reading, largest book in the Bible, the book of Psalms. Somebody might want that question. And so it reads thusly, Psalms 26. Judge me, O Lord, for I have walked in mine iniquity. I have trusted also in the Lord, and therefore I shall not slide. Examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try my reins and my heart, for thy loving kindness is before mine eyes, and I have walked in thy truth. I have also sat with vain persons, neither will I go in with dismemberers. I have halted the congregation of evildoers and will not sit with the wicked. I will wash mine hands in innocency. So I will compass thine altar, O Lord, that I may publish with the voice of thanksgiving and tell of all thy wondrous works. Lord, I have loved the habitation of thy house and the place where thine honoreth dwelleth. Gather not my soul with sinners, nor my life with bloody men, in whose hands is mischief, and their right hand is full of bribes. But as for me, I will walk in mine integrity. Redeem me and be merciful unto me, for my foot standeth in an even place. In the congregations will I bless the Lord. The word of God for the people of God, amen. amen. And let us pray as we bow even now. Lord, thank you once again. For indeed, you are a God who does all things and you do them well. So thank you, Lord, for meeting us here on tonight. Thank you for bringing us through another day, another Wednesday, another hump day, oh God. Another opportunity that we can say, indeed, you are a most dependable God. And so we pray even now, Lord, for your divine intervention and intervene in all of our lives, in the life of our church, in the life of our pastor and our first lady. We pray, Lord, that you would come in, oh God, and make us all new and one in you. We thank you, we praise you, we glorify you, for indeed you do all things and you do them well, and nothing is impossible with you. Thank you and thank you again. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.
is the Lord Church. And we have received this wonderful, wonderful charge and challenge from our pastor today. Did, every, did everybody get this note from Pastor Golden today? Amen. If not, I was going to say, check your email or let us know and we can forward it to you. And it's where he gave us these quiz questions that we'll be able to go through and answer tonight. Pastor won't be joining us tonight, but we're grateful to the Lord that Lady's on with us and all of you are here. And so we're going to go right into the questions. Did anybody answer all the questions? Because that person, we could probably get him a wide open microphone. You know? <laughs> And so <laughs> I saw that, Marion. And so because our number is at 21, let me just quickly say, short of the fact that if you have maybe something in your background that you need to keep your mic closed, let's just go with open mics tonight, guys. You know, let's just open up our mics, okay? And that way we can fellowship one with another. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hey, Marianne. And so for our telephone people, because we do have a few telephone people on here tonight. We have on the phone, we have Brother John, we have Sister Carter, we have Sister Cassandra. We also have, who is this, 3630550? I don't know that number off the top, but I'm sure it's a number that I know. 3630550. Can you unmute your mic? I just want to know who it is, because I, I don't have my directory right here in front of me. Only because we just want to be able to acknowledge you. If you do a star six, it'll open up. There you go. Good evening. Deacon Vanessa Thomas. Oh, that's hey, my Bill. number. I just realized that's yourself. Sorry. Okay, so that's Sister Vanessa. We'll rename it even now. So we just wanted to acknowledge our telephone people and to say to all of them, everyone else who's on the line too. But when we answer our questions tonight, because of that, let's say our name first so everybody will know who it is. And then we can go through an answer. And all the ones we get stumped with, We'll put all these minds and scholars together and we'll be able to work work one with yeah. another on them. Amen? Amen. I see, I see Sister Annette Dixon and her brain is still rolling. So I know that means she probably at least answered 29 of the 28 questions. Amen? <laughs> yeah, please <laughs> laugh. I'm laugh. <laughs> <laughs> question, so question number one, which is all about current events. You know, so you probably saw this one on the news yesterday. If not, it was an easy Google um, where it says, how much money did MSU, meaning Morgan, how much money did Morgan State University just receive and who gave it to them? Anybody have that answer? I okay. do. Okay, sister, I'm not so you got to say your name, guys, because not everybody can see you. I met Dixon. Okay, sister Dixon. $40 million. And where did it come from? Oh, wait a minute. I just turned from my page. Um, mm, 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 I got it. Wait a minute. It came from, how come I can't find it? Mm, wait a minute. We got a sister board that can help you. Come on, give me a sister board that can help us. Oh, oh, God, where's my, okay, here it is. All right. It came from Mackenzie Scott. Okay, it came from Mackenzie Scott. Mm -hmm. Does anybody know who Mackenzie Scott is? Oh, tell me so I can call Okay. <laughs> you and me both are next. <laughs> you have no so call, give me, all right? Uh, give me a number. Her, her name and her number. Okay, uh, sister, how many cards sister, have you sister Pale, and I see your hand. You want to share with us who Mackenzie Scott is? Mackenzie Scott is the ex-wife of the Bezo guy that owns all that uh, billionaire. Right, right. Somebody, right. somebody helps Sister Denise. Uh -huh. Whatever his first name is. Sister Ron, the Amazon. He owns Amazon. Jeff. Oh, his name cool. is Jeff. Like oh, brother yeah. Jeffrey. Right. His name is Jeff Bezos. B E Z O S. Oh, and he is the, and he is the one hundred and sixty nine billion. That's his net worth. B with a billion with a B. He's the richest man in the world. Worth. I mean, when I say richest man in the world, that means even richer than the Saudis. Mm. Richest man in the world, worth 169 billion and billion. Mm. He just got divorced in the spring and had to give his wife almost 40 billion. And that's just since the spring, he now back up to 169 billion. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. And you know why that is, y'all? Because all of us got 10 and 20 Amazon boxes coming to our house a week. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Amen. They even building their own building. Right Amen. across the street from us. Yeah. And so let's go on to the other parts of this question. So she also gave money to several other um, historically black colleges. Actually, she gave money to about 100 and almost 200 different institutions, not just colleges. Um, mm -hmm. But on these HBCUs, so she gave money to Bowie too. Anybody know how much she gave to Bowie? I do. Okay, Sister Ina, we'll let you we'll let you go through. Um, who was that? Wait a minute, who was that that said that? Uh, Gail Sister Gail Wilson, Gail Wilson on the phone. Oh, hi, Sister Gail. It's good to hear your voice. Um, she's gonna answer. She's gonna answer, Sister Gail. What is it again? Was it twenty five million? Okay. Oh, she on with you. Okay. Because yes. I was yeah. looking for her. Okay. <laughs> All righty. Thank you so much, Sister Gail. Good to hear your voice. What about Thank Howard you. University? Who's the next one? Yeah. Uh, Spellman. Uh-uh. Howard Gale. How oh, much? Howard. How much did she give to Howard, Sister Gail? Forty. Forty million. Okay. And what about Spellman? Spellman, fifteen million. Okay. I. I so let me just say, I don't know how much she gave to Spellman because I couldn't find it. Because when I went to Spellman's website, it said it was undisclosed that, that, mm -hmm. Spellman, that Spellman didn't share theirs publicly. I know she gave Chalk Atlanta 15, but I didn't know what the amount was. So, Mr. okay, Gale thank you, Sister it. Gail. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Sister Gail. Okay, question number two What is the acronym COVID? Does anybody know what that expands to? Yeah. Okay, I see something from Andrea Wright Brown. <laughs> Andrea, you're not talking tonight. So she sent in her answer as a type. You guys see it in the chat. Mm -hmm. and Andrea says that COVID means coronavirus disease. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's an, an, it's an acronym for coronavirus disease. Just number three, why was COVID-19 given its name? Anybody know that? Let me see your hands or or say your name and then we can call on you. Sister Rhonda, I think it's because the virus started in 2019. Okay. Okay. Anybody else have anything else they want to add to that? Hi, yeah. my, name, hi my name is Jeffrey Henderson. And, oh, and, really, and really the coronavirus came from Wuhan, China. That's the location where it originated, Brother Jeffrey. You're exactly right. Which will lead us to our number four question. What is an epidemic? Anybody a WASP acronym. Andrea. Okay. So, Andrea, we are so glad you are on. And God, yes, knows we need yes. you. God knows we need you. But, Andrea, the first thing you do is say your name, and then we'll call on you, okay? Because that helps us. We, we see you, but it helps us with the telephone people so that they know somebody else already answered. So, Andrea, what is an epidemic? A widespread accuracy of an infectious disease in the community of a particular time. So it's a widespread disease, mm -hmm. but it's in a community, keyword, within a community. Like, for example, how Jeffrey just gave to us how the um, coronavirus started in Wuhan, China. So it was an epidemic mm. in Wuhan, China, right? In that city in China, okay? So then yeah. who can tell me what a pandemic is? Anybody? Pandemic is hold on, hold on. Like, okay, well, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Sister, um, Minister Giles. Mm. Um, the pandemic is a global outbreak. Um, well, well, around yeah. the world. Okay, pan. Just for the pandemic. Exactly. Pan. Pan. Around the world. Uh -huh. And so that epidemic of um, the coronavirus is started as an epidemic in Wuhan, China. And then once wow. it left China and spread around the world, it became a pan, worldwide, a pandemic. Right, pan, Excellent. worldwide, right. Excellent. Mm. Okay, question number five. Can I give some uh, clarification to that? Absolutely. Come on, Brother Phil, give it to us. Actually, it doesn't have to be worldwide. It can be among several countries. Several. Right, yeah. several countries. It doesn't have to be worldwide necessarily, but if it's spread across uh, several countries, it is then considered a pandemic. Pan. Thank you, Brother Phil. Mm -hmm. Anybody else have anything else they want to add? This is good. Number six. I mean, number five, we're going to the Bible. 
When was the King James Version of the Bible published? Let me Sister see your hand. Your name. See your hand. Sister Tanya. Um, this is Tanya. 1611. Anybody else have enough answers? That's what I got. I agree with her. And I, I, I saw something different from that. Mm. So what happened in 1604 then? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, don't know. I came up with 1611 too. I did too. Oh my God. Was, was maybe that the first year it was published or something? No, that would have been what well, four comes before 11. What did four um, say? Any Bible was published. Yes. That's the King James. Just looking at NIV. Oh, <laughs> I'm at the come back, son. Yeah, Marianne. Okay. What I had, what I found was uh, that it was published in 1611. It was called the Authorized Version or King James Bible. That's the English translation of the Bible published in 1611 under King James I the first of England. That's what I have. Okay. Right. right. Let's slap the table. Yeah. What happened in 1604? So in 1604, it says mm -hmm. that the Church of England commissioned the Bible. Okay. But that the English version was in 1611. Oh. Right. Um, okay. So what they're saying I, is that all right. The Bible was launched out in 1604. They commissioned it. Okay. That's when it started. All right. All right. Anybody else have anything else they want to add? Number six. Why is the Bible referred to as the King James Version? Let me see mm -hmm. a hand or a name. I have one. Okay, Andrea. Hmm. Um. It's because Thomas Hobbes referred it as the English begin it is the English beginning of the reign of King James. Anybody else have something else they want to add to that? Why was the Bible referred to as the King James Version? Named after who? Okay, Brother Randall. Okay. okay. What I found out when I researched it said he was it was um named such after the under the auspices under the uh let's say the urging of king james the first simply because it was under his for lack of a, a better way to put it his administration mm -hmm. his reign uh that it was named the king uh the king james version sister carter you got something you want to add on that i saw your mic open not this one okay <laughs> <laughs> so i got one or two more i'll do all right <laughs> And that's King James the First of England, guys. Of England, yes. Mm -hmm. right. Of England. All right, we're ready for number seven. Mm -hmm. So number seven is one, two, three, four parts, okay? Yep. So number seven, part one. Who was the founder of Methodism? Anybody? I got it. I got it. Anybody? Come on. Uh huh. Sister Rhonda. Okay. John John Wesley. John Wesley was the founder of the Methodist Church. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go on to part B. What about Lutheranism? I have it. Okay, Sister Inet. Sister Inet, that was Martin Luther. Martin Luther. Okay, what about Calvinism? Anybody? Calvin. Okay, Brother Phil. John Calvin. John Calvin. Okay. Oh, wow. And what about the Baptist? I have it. Okay, Sister Andrea. Roger Williams. Who? Roger Williams. Anybody have somebody other than Roger Williams for the Baptist no. Church? Okay. So. I think it's John Smith. John Smith. John Smith it is. John Smith. Okay, and that Smith was a Y. Why? So they might say John Smythe. <laughs> Okay. Brother Phil, you got something you want to add to that? Yeah, we want to give some times when these when these were established. Okay, Brother Phil. Well, Methodism, Methodism was established <laughs> in the 18th century. And the first church I ever really went to was John Wesley Methodist. 
Okay. At Bloomingdale and North Avenue. Amen. You know it, well. it still oh, exists down there. Yes, it does. It does. We know it well. I have more, but I'm going to give somebody else some, a okay. chance to. You might you know. as well roll. <laughs> okay, then we're going to go to number eight then. What is the meaning of the word Catholic? I Let me see a new hand. I, come on, I know somebody else answered these questions other than Randolph <laughs> and Dixon. That's all right. Mm, Y'all gonna get two apples tonight. Okay, Sister Annette, what's the meaning of the word Catholic? Universal. Universal. Give me another word. Come on, give me some synonyms. Anybody got another word? What'd you say, on Sister Annette? Say it again, Sister Annette, I'm sorry. All over. All over. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which one did you say, Sister Peggy? Well, well, on the whole. On the whole. All of these are excellent. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Anybody mm -hmm. else? Brother Phil, what you got? In general. In general. Mm -hmm. right. Sister Rhonda, what you got? I got it comes from the Greek word Catholicos with a K instead of a C. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Meaning. Great. Anybody else have any other words we want to add before we move? I have entirety. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Number nine. Number nine, Marion High. Number nine, Marion High. <laughs> <laughs> How many doctors of the Roman Church are there? Let's hear them high. Okay. There were four great doctors of the Western Church. Mm hmm. Okay. The first, wait a minute, I can't, I'm, I'm scribbling, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, in 1516, artist Peter mm -hmm. Francisco Sashi. Go ahead, Sashi. Sashi painted St. Saint, Saint Augustine, uh, mm -hmm. Pope Gregory the mm -hmm. St. Jerome, and St. Ambrose. Okay. Anybody have any others? Those are excellent speaking high. Anybody have any additional ones? What was the first one? She said, Ambr one? she said Ambrose, Augustine, Gregory, and Jerome. I have uh, Augustine, Gregory, Jerome, Gregory. Okay. <clears throat> Anybody have any others, Brother Phil? I, I want to make mention, I'm going to um, <clears throat> just point out two, two in particular specifically because one was the earliest one that was declared a doctor and one was the longest uh, before he was declared a doctor. Mm -hmm. one, of the, one is named Alfonso Lecour and he was declared a doctor in, in 84 years, you know, when it became, before he was nominated as a doctor. Right. And the other one, well, and he died in, um, he died in, eight, in 1787 and he was uh, named a doctor in 1871, 84 years. And another one was um, Ephraim the, the, the Syrian, I yeah. know uh, the Syrian, Ephraim the, the, the Syrian. And it took him 15 and a half centuries before he was declared a doctor. Wow. Wow, that's a long time. That's a thousand. <laughs> before he was nominated. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> Thanks, Brother Phil, for adding that additional, yeah, mm -hmm. additional depth. The question is, how many, how many doctors are there? That's a whole lot of doctors. How many? Is there? Yeah, I had thirty-six. 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 Mm -hmm. It is. Mm -hmm. The list was long. Yeah. Thirty-six. Who, number ten. Who is the writer? Lila Carter. I got that one. Okay. Go ahead, Lila. <laughs> who, is the, who, is the, who is the writer of the Book of Psalms, Lila? Romans. It's the, Romans. I mean, I'm sorry, of the book of Romans. <laughs> it was uh, the Apostle Paul, and it was between AD 57 and 58. All yeah. right, David. Okay, David. Number 11. Who delivered the manuscript to the Church of Rome? Ooh, I know that one. Hi, right, Sister Tanya. I see your hand. That was my name in my uh, my um, new members class, Phoebe. Mm. <laughs> yes, yeah. And that name was once again, Phoebe. Phoebe. All, All right, right Tony. Phoebe. Right, Phoebe. All right, Phoebe. Let's read that. 
Sister Rhonda, let's rename her right now, Phoebe. 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 That's her new name, Phoebe. <laughs> can I, can I so proud something? of that name, Phoebe. Yes, I do. <laughs> Right, Tony, let it be your church name, Phoebe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Brother Phil, you want to add something? I absolutely do. We have to add something to that one. All right. Phoebe was a very, very significant um, person, and and all the more since she was female. Right. She was the first to be declared a deacon and a servant by Paul. She was Amen. very, very well trusted by uh, mm -hmm. by Paul. And he gave her great accolades and what have you, and considered her his emissary. Yes, he so did. She was a, she was a deaconess. No, mm. okay. she was a she was a deacon in her own right. Yes, not she was. Because, yes. Not because of who she was married to. No, no, right. He declared that she was a deacon and a, a and an emissary of his <laughs> and a servant of you know. So he Amen. had great trust in her. Amen. Thanks for that additional. A note, Brother Randolph, because that is a note that was worthy of uh, pointing out. Where are we? Number 12. Leela what? Carter, I got four of them. Go <laughs> 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 okay, <laughs> mama. <laughs> okay. Number well, one me, is for Lillian. Sister Carter, Sister Carter, hold yes. tight. Let me just ask the question. <laughs> because it might be somebody on here who didn't have a paper and they might not know the question. So let me ask the okay. question. Okay. And then you can get an answer. What, okay. what are Paul's prison letters and name them? Sister Carter. Oh, Sister Carter. Now, you want me to name them? Oh, mm -hmm. it's no. Philemon. Philemon. Ephesians. Ephesians. Philippians. Philippians. That's more up on AD 61. All right. Okay, Bye. Paul's. You heard it from Deacon Lila May Briggs Carter, Paul's prison letters, mm -hmm. Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, and Philemon. Mm -hmm. or, some, or some of y'all from East Baltimore like say Philemon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I say. That's Philemon. me. <laughs> Philemon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is the fourth one? Philemon. 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 Okay, <clears throat> Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, and Philemon, <laughs> AKA Philemon. 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 Okay, number 13. <laughs> Who is the author of the book of Hebrews? Mm -hmm. Come on. Now, it says it was uncertainty, but it, they gave Apollos, and they gave Luke, and they gave Philippians. But they was uncertain which one was that really write it. Mm. But scholars of today believe that the book of Hebrews was written by who, guys? Oh, Anybody? Oh, oh, Paul. Oh, they believe oh, it was oh, written by Paul, okay? Okay. She's so sad. She was sad. You think she sounds sad. But but I, I would add to what sister I would add, I would agree with with uh, sister Carter. There are scholars who have done uh, plenty of studies, uh, as I learned uh, uh, in Bible institutes uh, that I've attended, um, that there are a lot of scholars who have evidence to to cite to say that they do not believe that it was Paul. So, exactly right. Right. Some of them say right. Barnabas. Some of them say that it wasn't. Right. I've heard yep. it say that it could have been Barnabas. Barnabas. Yep. Right. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. It could have been Luke. Right. Could have been yep. Philippians. Yeah. We have, we have to save that theological argument for for another time where we can, you know, dig into that a little deeper with yeah. some other commentaries and all. That'll be a good one to be able to to work through. Mm -hmm. So number fourteen. What is the Roman road? Mm. And that's a couple of parts. Mm -hmm. Anybody have any? Anybody have anything they want to start us off? What is the, first of all? Not not tell me specifically what is the Roman road. Tell me in general. First of all, what is the Roman road? It is the road to where or road to plan of salvation. So it's the plan of salvation. First mm -hmm. of all. It's the, so the Roman road is the plan of salvation mm -hmm. and it's citing 
um, scripture from the book of Romans. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's it in its general sense. So now, can anybody help us with citing what those Roman scriptures are? First one. In its pure sense, the first one. I believe it was. I believe it was Romans three. It can be. Three okay. twenty-three, and and that says what? For all, all come on, Sunday sin. school teachers. For all have all sinned sin and, and come, come short of the glory of God. God. So that's the first step when we lead somebody through the Roman road. For all have sinned and come yes. short of the glory of God. Okay. And yes. then the second, mm -hmm. and then the second stone on that road. You know, after you said that all have sinned, then what do we tell them? Romans six twenty-three. But yeah. the gift of the God. way for the wages, wages. of sin, sin is death, death. But, but the, the gift, gift of God, God is eternal, eternal life, life. life through Jesus Christ, Christ our Lord. Lord. So the first step is Romans three twenty three. Right. Second step is Romans six twenty three. Okay. Right. And then in, its, in its purest sense, there's one more step. This is a three step. And you got a lot of other verses you can uh -huh. add in, but the main steps are three. And the third step. Romans 10, come on. 10, 9, and 10. Nine. Yeah. That if you confess, that if thou, sh if thou shalt confess. Come yeah. on, give it to me, somebody. If thou shalt confess your sins, the Lord is faithful and just. Faithful. Oh. Right. Faithful and just to, just forgive, to forgive you of your sins yes. and, and cleanse, cleanse you from all, of all righteousness. righteousness. And that's Romans 10, 9, and 10. Nine, 10. So the fullest fullness in that answer, first of all, the Romans road is the plan of salvation using the book of Romans. Right. And those right. three, and those three steps are Romans 323, Romans 623, and yeah. Romans 10, 9, and 10. You go with those three steps down the road of Romans, you can lead a person to Christ. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Now, I know other people might throw in at the beginning Romans 3.10, which I mean, once again says, none are righteous, but of God. Right. Or they might throw in Romans 5, 8, and 9, but God commended his love, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died. Mm -hmm. Or they might even throw in Romans 10.13, whosoever shall call upon, upon the name of the Lord, the Lord shall, be shall be saved. Three main That's steps, 323, 623, 10, 9, and 10. You got another one to add, Brother Phil? Well, 10, 9, Let's and 10 see. actually is if that if you declare with your mouth. Uh, you preaching, right? Deacon. See, if you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Mm -hmm. so it, is by, it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and with your mouth that you confess your faith and are saved. Now that's Romans 10, 9, 10, and, 9 10. and 10. Brother Phil, right. let me just say I'm this. Sad. You're going to row one in heaven. Row one. Anybody else have another yeah. thing they want to yeah. add? Uh, Sister Mary, you know, and, uh, and, and sometimes you don't, you can't remember all of the Bible verses. Yeah. But one sticks out yeah. to me that will let people know the love of Jesus. For God so loved the world yeah. mm. that he gave his only begotten son. Yeah. And when you tell a person that, that to me, that makes them know, hey, there's somebody that loves me. Amen. God loves me because he gave me something that nobody else, he did something rather that no one else could do. Amen. And that was to give me the love of his son. So I, to me, I would, in a pinch, I would add that too. Amen. You know, also. Sister mm. Misha, I'm raising her hand to that. Amen. All right. <laughs> I got, I got one. Um, sister, sister Melly. Brother Jeffrey Henderson, the mic is um, yours. Um, Saint John three seventeen says, "For God sent not His Son into the mm. world to condemn the world." Go ahead, Jeffrey. Mm. <laughs> So let me just say, we can say amen after that. Can, amen. We have, can we have Brother Francis give us a selection? Because at this point, <laughs> everything has been said. Yeah. It's preaching time. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. The sermon has been preached. The spirit has spoken. 
can brother Jeff, can brother Francis give us a selection so we can go on, on out here to the, uh, to the Mount of Olives? <laughs> that was wonderful. God bless you, Jeffrey. We thank the Lord for you. Who's your Sunday school teacher? You know, um, stick your head out. Jeffrey, your head who's your up. Sunday school teacher? Zen. My minister, Zen Smith. I should have oh, known. I should have known it was one of those ministers on the pulpit. You're in the dark there, Jeff. You're in the dark. Right, Jeff. You ain't turn your light on in the room. Oh, let me turn my light on. Right. Well, I think like, oh, much better. On? I was gonna say, and God said, "Let there be let light." Let there be light. light. Okay, here we go. Number fifteen. According to the Book of Romans, how or where does faith come from? Faith comes. Uh, Lila Carter. I think that Lila Carter. Carter. It's faith come by hearing, and hearing Woo. by the Word of God. Oh, yes. Yeah. Says to sight. And so, it says, and so it says to cite it, which means tell us this the Romans okay, reference. Right? So where is it found in Romans, Sister Carter? Oh, I didn't put that there. Somebody did. Won't well, somebody? Which Romans, Sister Inet? Sister Inet, Romans 10, 17, mother. Romans mm -hmm. 10, 17. 10, 17. Okay. Yes, uh, Amen. Okay, thank you. Right mm -hmm. down Romans road. <laughs> right. Amen. Number 16, what is the doctrine of exclusivity? Y'all know it, y'all just don't know you do. Anybody got that? No, on, I did. Sister, Sister Annette, come on. I hope it's right. Let me see. It, it, the belief that only one particular religion or belief system is true. <clears throat> it's the belief that only one particular re religion or belief system is true. Wrong? So meaning the doctrine of exclusivity um, is where they believe, right, that theirs is right and nobody else is it. Else is. Okay, right. just like Sister yeah. Annette said. I guess. And so, oh, no. and so... Yeah. The scripture that reminds us that all have sinned without excuse, that citing can be found at Romans 1, mm -hmm. 18 and 19. Yeah. Romans 1, 18 and 19. Can somebody find that and read it for us? Mm -hmm. Romans 1, 18 and 19. Whoever find it first. Mm. 18 and 19. 1, 18 and 19. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness yes. of men who hold the truth and unrighteousness. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God has showed it unto them. Is that right? Yes. Amen and amen. That was Romans 18 and 19, Sister Mills. Romans 1, chapter 1, 1 verses 18 and 19. 18 and 19. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, is that the right one or is it 17? For there and is the righteousness of God revealed. Oh, no, from place to place. Okay. okay. So, number 17. 17. Mm -hmm. How many of the Apostle Paul's traveling companions can you name? And we've been talking about a few of them already. Can anybody name some of the people that travel with Paul? But well, first of all, when we talk about Paul traveling, we're talking about Paul traveling on his missionary journeys, okay? So Paul went on these missionary journeys. Anybody know how many missionary journeys Paul went on? I think it was three. Was it three or four? Amen. Four. Some say three, some say four. four. You know, because some say that third one was really just an extension of, the fourth one was an extension of three, but yes. Um, and so let's look at them. So um, anybody have, anybody from the first missionary journey? Barnabas. Okay, Barnabas. Barnabas. Okay, anybody else? John Mark. John Mark. Anybody else traveling? Give me one. Silas. Oh, Sister Rhonda. Silas. Silas. Paul and Silas. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Anybody else? I lost my space. Anybody else have any others? Okay. Praise the Lord. Number. 
Where are we? 18. Number 18. Sorry, 18. I lost my line. Marion Hot. I got it. <laughs> who, were, okay. who were Aquila and Priscilla? Phil okay. And <laughs> Aquila <laughs> and Priscilla. Go All right, Aquila and Priscilla. Right? Mm -hmm. Aquila and Priscilla were tent makers like Paul, and both had been among the Jews. They were expelled from Rome by the Roman emperor Claudius in the year 49. And they ended up in Corinthia. Corinthia. So who were they? Were they cousins? Were they best friends? They were, they were, they, they were, they were, they were um, husband. Husband and wife, wife weren't they? Husband I thought they were husband and wife. and wife because at the end it said in love and then marriage. So no I, question, I, I, who was the husband? Aquila. 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 Aquila was the husband and Priscilla, and Priscilla was the was wife. The wife. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Sister Mill. Yeah. Sister Mill. Yeah. When I was working for Youth Works, and I yeah. think I sent it to Pastor and to Tam and to Brother Phil. And my one of my work sites, there was actually twins, a boy and a girl, mm -hmm. and their name was Aquila and Priscilla. Wow. Matthew. Wow. And it was so hard because it was right at the time when Pastor renamed the Randolph, Aquila, and Priscilla. <laughs> okay. And I still have that. I uh, took a picture of their names on my roster, and I still have it in my in my uh, photo shoot. Wow. 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 Yeah. Isn't that a Aquila blessing? Aquila and Priscilla. Okay, uh, Sister Rhonda, can we rename Brother Phil Aquila for the rest of the evening? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> amen and Amen. <laughs> Amen. Let's make him Aquila for the rest of the night. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Okay, Amen. where are we now? Number nine. Anybody nine. have anything else? First of all, that they want to add to Aquila and Priscilla. First of all, I'm sorry. Okay. Is so number 19? Who was Timothy's mother, his grandmother, and his father? Mm, they want to know his whole business. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we talk. First of all, and, and a question that's also probably implied is, who was Timothy? Eunice was on. Um... So hold on, Sister Ann. Hold on, Sister Gail. So our first question is, who was Timothy's mother? Oh, my gosh. Sister, Gail, Sister Gail, you, you raise your hand. Who was Timothy's mother, Sister Gail? Was it Eunice? Eunice, right. Mm -hmm. So Eunice was his mother. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody else can tell us who was Timothy's grandmother? Maternal, that is. Mm -hmm. Sister Rhonda? Uh, Lois. Lois. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if, if Eunice was Timothy's mother, then who was Timothy's father? I don't know. Anybody? Yeah. I know he was a Greek Gentile. That's all it says. They never said oh. his name. They never said his name. I see his name. He was a heathen Greek. Oh, go ahead, um, no. Anya. I have that either. I didn't find that one either. Sister Carter, did you find it? No, I didn't. It was in the book of Acts. Yeah, Acts 16. Andrea said his father was H-E-L-L-E-N. Come on, Bible scholars. Let's Google that instead. All That's right, Helen. I know. That's, yeah. what, that's what Andrea said the father was. Oh, okay. H-E what? H-E-L-L-E-N. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Tell him that's not like a telling it. Father of information. I know it was in Acts 16. Yeah, oh, that's really? right. Yeah, that's where. But they did I don't think they still didn't mention his name. name. No, they didn't know his name. He was a heathen, they said. Oh, it says Greek Gentile. It says here in this um, yeah. International Standard Bible Encyclopedia that Timothy, somebody with a study Bible might have a, a profile on Timothy. It mm -hmm. said Timothy was one of Paul's best companions. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, let me see if it talks about who is. Okay, here's his mother. Timothy's father was a heathen Greek. H-E-L-L-E-N. Oh. Yeah, but, but that must be the kind of Greek that he was. Yeah, that wasn't his name. That wasn't his name. Mm -mm. Okay. Was his like... mother was Eunice, but it doesn't tell us his father. All right, extra credit. 
Somebody win a TV. That was a, that was a joke. But, oh, um, <laughs> let's 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 maybe we could dig a little more deeper. You know, this is our last session until next year. Maybe we could dig a little more deeper and find some other Bible um sources, and maybe we can find out what Timothy's um, father's name was. Some of our Bible scholars. All right. Okay. Be dead. Say that again. I said he was a deadbeat dad. They don't know. No, <laughs> sister, I wow. never know. You can't put that he out there. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> was like, now, yeah. she's gonna call a man for a Rolling Stone. Come on. Wow. Mom, it was Rolling. Oh Lord. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number nine, number twenty. <laughs> number twenty. What is the longest? of the Apostle Paul's writings. Leela Connor, I think it's Acts. Acts and it's got, to that, it's got 28 verses. Okay, oh, Sister Carter. The rest of them don't have else? that many. Can I count my challenge, Sister Carter? What you say? Deacon Vanessa Thomas. Come on, Deacon Thomas. It's a, Ephesians 1. What is the longest of, of his writings? Paul's oh, writing. Because Acts. Acts got 28 chapters. Yes, it did. I heard that it was Romans. Okay. And That's Romans true. has how many chapters? 16. 16. 16. One, and, and Acts got 28. One might be the longest, num one might be the longest number of verses, and the other might be the longest number of chapters. chapters. So, okay. Okay. So thank you so very much to both of you. Number uh, 21. But, but Amelia, I, go ahead, Sister I have, What's the answer? So, so the answer is Roman. the longest writings, meaning the chapters, is the book of Acts with 28 chapters. Right. right. Okay. Right. The longest with verses is Romans. Romans. And, it, and I right. sorry, I just moved away from my page to say how many verses it was. Right. right. Okay. Right. Romans has six. Oh. So number 21. What are the apostles' writings considered to be? This is a good one. Epistles, letters, or missives? Epistles. Mm -hmm. Epistles. Epistles. Yeah, epistles. Hey, okay, say letters. The letters of Paul, the epistles of Paul, the missives. We've heard all. You know, that's right. That was a trick question from Pastor Golden. They've called they're called all three things. We we commonly call them the we commonly call them the epistles though. Epistles of Paul. Pauline epistles. Before. But we just but we also know them when people say Paul's letter to the Romans and letter right. to the right. Ephesians and exactly. letter to the Corinthians. Okay? Correct. Right. Right. In the Catholic Church, as in Roman Catholic. They use it as missives. They say Paul's missives to, oh, yes. you know, the Corinthians. So all three are used. That was a trick question for past, from Pastor Golden. Hello. Go ahead, Brother Kearney. What Hello? you got? Hello. I have a question with that pre with that previous. Good evening, all. With that previous question. Which number, John? The one just before the one you on now about Paul's writings. Oh, yes. Writing. What is the, the, Paul long, the longest? Did he write Acts? Yeah. 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 But I didn't think Paul wrote Acts. Yeah. Who wrote the book of Acts? They ain't saying. I thought it was Luke. Mm -hmm. Now y'all done made John come up off of his hot bed. No, because I had the same thing. I just didn't say. Oh, well, you got to speak up. John, okay. Y'all done made John Robert Kearney uh -huh. come up off of his hot bed. Mm, get up, Jesus. <laughs> 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 let me say. Oh, um, oh, oh, so let me just say, because because I didn't get to number twenty. So let me just say for number twenty, the longest of Paul's writings and those book, writings of Paul, because we had that question earlier. We have to double check on that one. Okay, could be Roman. Because it's of Paul's writings, not of all the writings. Okay. Right. Oh. So it's Mark. So I. Because Mark has how many verses? I mean, how many chapters? Okay. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight chapters. <laughs> did he? Did Paul write Mark? Mark. 
No, no, Matthew Matthew was the Matthew. longest with 28 chapters. Matthew has 28, and there's another one with 28. What are you, Luke. Luke. No, Luke has 24. Nope. Are y'all in Paul's writings? <laughs> you write all of these. Y'all. Matthew has 28. What is the question? The question is, as they say, the question is, what is the longest of the Apostle Paul's writing? That's Paul's writing. So Paul's writing. Not the whole New Testament. All over the place. No. Not the whole New Testament. So no. let's, what is Paul's writing? Let's, 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 let's just take it back to the basics. Hold tight. Thank let's just take it back to the basics and first of all say let's list the books of Paul. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because mm -hmm. then because we can all do the math after that. Okay. All right. All right. So our first question, Roman. our first question is let's list all of the books that Paul wrote. And I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you 60 seconds to find the answer. Okay. So Hold, hold, hold it until you're 60 seconds, sister. I know. Hold on to it. Don't tell it. Okay. okay. So everybody got 60 seconds. So everybody got the equal amount. 60 seconds to find out all of the books that Paul wrote. Okay. Y'all crazy. Dun, 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 dun. Time's up. No, it's not, sister. I know. How many books did Paul write? How many books did Paul write? Okay, you got 20 more seconds. Who's Googling? Well, we can all it ain't Google. me. We can all hey, Google. I mean, quietly. Okay, I'll, I'll, cause she on the phone, that's why. <laughs> you know, she, she piggybacking on somebody else. Oh, okay. Oh, that is special, Marion. So, anybody ready? A little bit? No, I'm not. Yeah. Right, how many yeah. books are? Were they 13 books? Okay, yep. Sister Kathy. Give the answer already. Sister <laughs> Kathy, hold your... Give me the answer. <laughs> hold your meal. They give me the... <laughs> you know, I'm getting old, so things don't stay in my head long. Oh, well, write it down. Write it down. So, we ready? Yep. Ready. Yeah, I can share this, too. Okay. So, first of all, let's go with the number. How many books in the well? How many books in the Bible did Paul write? Do anybody know that answer? According to Dick uh, Roddy, he wrote four. Huh? huh? No, oh, no, sister, I know. Oh. No, sister, well, I know. Quiet. <laughs> I don't. Okay. Hold tight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Raise your hand and speak. I've got a guess. Okay, I can guess. I no, I'm sorry. Help me here down a minute. I'm sorry. Okay, I guess Kat it was six billion. Okay, Sister Carter says sixteen. Anybody else have an answer other than sixteen, Brother Phil? I, I mean, I'm 13. sorry, Aquila. I say thirteen. Thirteen. I got. I got thirteen. Okay. Yeah. Thirteen. So Paul wrote. Thir Sister Annette, tell me what you have. Your mic is closed. Hold on. I don't know how I closed it. I didn't close it. Okay. 14. 14. Well, so, so let's name the 13 books. Let's name the 14. Well, let's name, let's name them. Okay. Romans. Romans. That's First one. and second Corinthians. That's two. First and second. We're going to call that Corinthians one book. So oh, two. no wonder. I'm sorry. Well, okay. Well, we can call it three. We can call it's it two, two books. Uh, Okay, so Romans is one book, First Corinthians is another one, Second Corinthians. Keep going, Sister Annette. Galatians. Galatians. Ephesians. Ephesians, that's five. Philippians. 
Philippians, Colossians, Colossians, First and Second Thessalonians, First Thessalonians, Second Thessalonians, that's nine. First, first and Second Timothy, First Timothy, Second Timothy, that's eleven. Titus, Titus, Philemon, I say Philemon, Philemon, and Hebrews, Hebrews, that's fourteen. Okay. 14. Okay. Well, okay, I have a question. I have a question. Then what was it that, uh, what's the difference in his letters, I um, mean, his books and his letters? So because, Sister Arnell, number 12's question wasn't name all of Paul's letters. Number 12's question was just name Paul's prison, prison letters. Okay. Yeah, prison. yeah, so now these are all of the writings of Paul. So all of the writings of Paul are those listings that we get, just gave, Okay. So of all of those, Romans, 1st and 2nd Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians, 1st and 2nd Timothy, Titus, Philemon, and Hebrews, which one of all of those is the longest? So Romans have how many chapters? Let's line it out. Romans have what? 16? 16. Okay. 1 Corinthians have what? That's how many teens, too. 1 Corinthians, is that 14 or 15? I'm talking on the top. Let me just look at exactly. 1 Corinthians have 16. 16. Okay. So that's a tie. Okay. 2 Corinthians have how many? 13. Okay, so we still at 16. Galatians have how many? Six. Okay. Ephesians have how many? Six. Six. Philippians have how many? Four. Four. Colossians have how many? Four. Four. First Thessalonians have how many? Five. 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 Second Thessalonians have how many? Three. Three. First Timothy have how many? Six. Six. First Timothy have, sorry, I was a little slow. Six. Second Timothy have how many? Four. Four. Okay. Titus have how many? Three. 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 Uh -huh, three. You feel like 16 is our high number, right? Mm -hmm. right. 16. Titus have how many? One. 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 Hebrews. 13. Have how many? 13. 13. So that means all the have 16, first of all, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and two. Which, right. which two books have 16? Romans, Romans, Romans and 1 Corinthians. First Corinthians. First Corinthians. We, we done lined it out. So the answer to number 20, what is the longest of Paul's writings? And we, we say longest, we're talking about the longest number of chapters. Mm -hmm. And I did say Romans. It's two, Romans and 1 Corinthians. Mm -hmm. so make sure you put chapter in the parentheses because it means we're counting chapters, okay? That was, that was good that we um, find that out like that, amen? Mm -hmm. yeah. So now we're at number 22. All that because of Brother John opened up his heart. Thank you, Brother John. Now you close your <laughs> mic back. Go back, go back to resting again. Mm. Drink Okay, number verse 22. What is the oldest gospel book? Key words. Oldest. 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 New Testament. Uh, oldest. It's not only saying what is the oldest. Did it say what's the oldest book in the Bible? Oh. It said the oldest gospel book. Gospel book. Mark. Okay. What is it? I got. Is it Mark? It's Mark. Mark too. It's Mark. Mark, yes. Oh. It's Mark. Okay, Mark. Uh, Mark. They say I'm around know. 70 AD. Oh, I got one older than Mark. Mm. Oh, no, yeah. I don't. Sorry. Not of the gospel. Not of the gospel. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to ask you another question because y'all might not have looked at it this way. What's the oldest book in the whole Bible? Okay. Psalm. Nope. Not Psalms. Not Psalms. And let me just tell you, it's not Genesis. It's Isaiah. Uh, nope. It's in the Old Testament. Isaiah. And Sister Carter, let me just say this to you. One of your <laughs> favorite books in the Bible. Psalms. Thessalonians. In the Old 
Old Testament, Sister Carter. Oh, Carter. Old Testament. Okay. It's Psalms. Nope. Then, oh, okay. The book of Job. Job? Job is the oldest book. Oh. Job? Job. Job. Okay. Anybody know what's the longest book in the Bible, meaning the longest count of chapters? Oh. Psalm. 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 Which, in which chapter in Psalm is it? How many chapters does Psalm have? 150. 150. 150. 150. Yeah. 150. And of those 150, what is the longest one? 119. Psalm 119. Psalms 119. You are good. You, you good, sister. Uh, everybody. Okay, number 23, we're rounding it out. What does Luke's presence in the scripture say or suggest about one of our most pressing conditions today? Anybody, our, can anybody tell, anything about, tell us about Luke? Yeah, Luke. One of the, that again? One at a time, because I'm just not getting it. Luke, Luke 21. Right, Luke 21, 11. What does that say, Sister Rhonda? You lost me. Okay, let me, I gotta look for it. I'm sorry. Why well, Sister Rhonda looking hers up? Right, what I got the, it. Luke, Luke 21, 11. It says, and great earthquakes shall be in divers places and famines and pests and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. And that's Luke 21, 11. 11. Thank you, Sister Rhonda. Anybody, can anybody tell us anything else about Luke? What was his profession? He was a doctor. He was, was a doctor. doctor. Physician. Amen. Right. Amen. He was a physician. Mm -hmm. Okay, last few. We're moving. What is the Johnine Gospel? Is the Gospels written by who? John. John. Written by John. Yep. So what are the so what were the First of all, what's the gospel that's written by John? John. Saint John. Saint John. Saint John. Saint John. Right. And what's are there any other books written by John? Revelation. 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 Revelation written by John. Any yeah. other books written by John? First and second John. First, second, and third John. Third John. Second and third John. Thank you, Sister Cassandra Orduna. Okay, number twenty-five. What is the sixfold purpose of the gospel? I.e., to tell the life, death, burial, resurrection, ascension, and imminent return of Jesus Christ our Lord. Yes. That's the end. And I the have one word that says all of those things. The charisma. The charisma. Let's spell that. K-E-R. Can somebody put that in the chat for everybody have it? K-E-R. K E R Y Y G M A. K E R Y G M A. Thank you, Sister Rhonda. So, number 26. In the simplest of terms, what is the charisma? In the simplest of terms, it is what? Charisma. Birth, life. Oh, that's not the simplest of terms. We know that it's all of that. We know that it's the life, the burial, the death, the imminent return. So all of that is the what? Have you heard the? Good news. Good, Good news. news. Well, yes, sir. I knew it was somebody who went to missionary Good club. News. <laughs> Good had news. To, you had to go to missionary club. Good news club to know that one. <laughs> OK, so. The good news, that's it in a, in a nutshell. If you had to bring it down to a simplest form, the good news, the gospel, salvation, okay? What is, number 27, what is paracope? Not periscope, paracope, C-O-P-E. Um, we used to be, I'm always be on periscope. <laughs> anybody know what that is? Did anybody find that defined paracope? P-E-R-I-C-O-P-E? I thought it's not P E R I S I. No, sister, it's not an S. It's pericope. Anybody know what? Did anybody find any definition? Pericope. Yes, I did. Basic. A set of verses that forms one coherent unit or thought. Okay. Break it down. 
So yeah. that can be because when I, I was I, I looked at that because I was trying to I wanted to be able to give an example of a pair of coat. And so maybe a set of verses. So so maybe the Roman road could be a pair of coat. the Roman road. The Roman road could be a paracope because it's a set of verses right. that give an example of the road to salvation. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number 28. Jesus preached to the Jews. Peter to the Gentiles. Wherever he went, Paul Preach to the Jew first, and then. Oh, I'm sorry, I said it. <laughs> yeah. sorry. Paul preached to who? Who did he preach to first? The Jews. The Jews. And then who did he preach? And also to the, the Gentiles. Gentiles. To the Gentiles or to the Greeks. All right, excellent. All right, last two. Last two. Number twenty nine. Complete the verse. How shall they blank? This is from Romans, from the book of Romans. How shall they believe in him? Three. They have been. Ten. Ten. Mm -hmm. in him. ten and fifteen. Ten, fifteen. Let's start at fourteen. Right, I got ten for mm -hmm. Let's start at fourteen. How shall they be called on oh, him? Can I get a reader? Anybody? Ten fourteen. Oh, yeah. How and how shall they, they be called on him? Go ahead, Go ahead. Vanessa. In whom they have not believed. And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? How shall so I answer? How shall they hear without a preacher? And our scripture citing is Romans 10 14. Okay? Yes. Number three, this is like writing your name at the top of the paper. Everybody get credit for number 30. What's your favorite verse in the book of Romans? So in the entire book of Romans, and you know there's so many that we probably love and enjoy. Anybody want to share what their favorite one is? Let's, let's just walk the line. Okay, who is that? Mother Cross. Mother Cross, you want to open up the mic and tell us um, what your favorite Roman verse might be? You're going to hit a star six on your phone first, Mother Cross. And then you can share with us what yours is. And we can come back to you when you, if you need to think about it for a minute. Sister Cassandra, come in your way. Go ahead, Mother Hello. Cross. There you go, Mother Cross. We hear you. Hello. We hear Hello. You. We hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay. My uh, favorite verse is... Um, uh, Romans uh, one sixteen. Oh yes. You want to share it? Okay. We can say it along with you if you want. Romans. Um, Romans one sixteen. Let's help her, guys. Oh, I, I am I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, of Christ. for it is the power of God unto salvation to, to everyone, everyone that believes. To the it Jew first and yeah, also yeah. to the Greek. Thank you, Mother Cross. Amen and amen. Amen. <laughs> amen. Amen. Sorry. <laughs> I'm a little out of it tonight, but I thank you for the true words of God and I thank you for your lessons. Amen. Mother amen. Cross, we're a little we're a little out of it too. So we all in this boat together. <laughs> thank you. You want to share with us your favorite Romans verse, Sister Cassandra, or you could pass. Either way, I don't want you to feel on the spot. Do you have a favorite or one you really like? Romans 38. For I am persuaded that neither death nor That's life. Romans 8. Romans 8, 38. Yes. Go ahead. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels or any principalities nor power nor things present or things to come. Amen. Nor height, nor depth. Go ahead on with it. Mm. Nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from separate. the love of God, separate. which is in Christ Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Okay, Amen. Sister Lila Carter, come on with it. What's your yeah, favorite? Mine is Romans 10 and 9. Go ahead. Mm. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart, 
that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Shall be saved. Shall be. Amen. Sister Vanessa, we coming your way. You got a favorite one in Romans you want to share? Yes, Romans 8, 28. All right. That was mine. And we know that all things work together together. for the good of those who love him. We have been called according to his purpose. Amen. Anybody else have that one that Sister Vanessa just read? Yes, Yes. Sister Marion did. Yes, Yes. I did too. um, Okay, no sign is on that one. Sister Rhonda, Sister Marion, Sister Tanya, all those signing on that one as well. Okay. Uh, where are we? Sister Mishon, you got a favorite um, book and my favorite verse in Romans, Sister Mishon? Thank you, Sister Vanessa. What about you, Sister Peggy? You got one? Yes, I like um, 1129, but I also just like the one Deacon Thomas just read. For God's <laughs> gifts and his call are irrevocable. Oh, yes, they are. Yes. Amen. Amen. Romans eleven twenty nine. Mm-hmm. Okay, Sister Charlene, Sister Charlene Barnes, you got one from the Book of Romans. It's one of your mm-hmm. favorite. Okay, we could come back to you if you want us to. What about you, Sister Wanda Bennett, Deacon? You have one from the Book of Romans. One of your favorites. Romans 12, 1, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, oh, my God, to present your bodies a living <laughs> sacrifice, oh, yes. acceptable oh, unto yes. God, which is your reasonable service. Amen. Anybody Amen. want to co-sign on that one? Amen. 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 All right. You got a lot of co-signers on that one. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Sister Andrea. Andrea, you got a favorite in the book of Romans? Andre have been the star people tonight. Amen. Yep. Um, I actually don't have a favorite. You got any that you like that come to mind? At this moment, no. Okay. Because I like a lot of them. It's not I know. Mm-hmm. It's, Romans has a lot of great ones, doesn't it? That is oh, so yeah. true. Sister Amen. Thelma, any one that comes to mind for you, Thelma Henderson? Okay, Sister Thelma, we could come back. How about you, Brother Jeffrey? Um, I, I got one of St. John 316. That says, okay. St. John 316, that says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. St. John 316. Jeffrey, do you have a, a one that you like from the book of Romans? Um, Nothing comes to mind right now? Okay. All right. You, uh-uh. you, you study over that tomorrow after you talk to Linnea and see if you can come up with one from the Book of Romans, okay? Uh-huh. After you talk to your oh, girlfriend, Lorraine, Linnea, and see what she said. Okay, Brother Rodney. I'm, I'm sorry, Brother Rodney. We didn't want to miss you. We want to hear yours too. Brother yeah. Rodney, you have one from the Book of Romans? No, I don't. I want to cover the whole Roman road. And that's the truth, Brother Rodney. We all do. We want to just lay on that road because God knows we know what he did for us when we came down. It, right. amen? Mm, amen. amen. Thank you for that reminder, brother. I'm Mill. here now, Sister Mill. Okay, Sam, are we ready? Um, I like Romans 12, 14. Okay. Bless them which persecute you. Yeah. Bless and curse not. Mm, girl, you couldn't save you saying that one. I mean, you might be on real well with Brother Phil. You saying that one. Amen and amen. Sister I now you got one for the book of Romans and we moving, guys. Yes, I do. Can you hear me? Yes. Romans. First of all, first of all Sister I now, before you tell your favorite verse, can you tell the church how many years over 70 you are? Two. 72, y'all, because y'all know she was messing Sunday saying she wasn't 70. <laughs> Go ahead, Sister Inel. Tell us your, tell us your verse. You know, y'all got to know Sister Inel. She's a joker. Yes, yeah, Sister yeah, Inel. Yeah, yeah, give yeah. us your favorite Romans. And I'm not ashamed to tell it because thank God for those 72 years. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. My verse uh, is Romans 6, 23. Okay. Oh. Okay. Well, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. 
Amen and amen. Okay, who did I miss? Sister, Sister Marion? Oh, you, you echoed one already from somebody. Yes, you got but, another I, one? Yeah, but I do have yeah, another we're one. We're coming. We coming. Oh, okay. And it's Romans 10, 17. I don't know if anyone has said it. Go ahead. So then faith cometh by hearing and the hearing by the word of God. May God. Okay. Amen, amen. Sister Annette, you got one and Sister Gail too. Both of y'all, give us your call. I piggyback after um, okay. Sister uh, Bennett. This is Romans the Gail 12. had one. Here come Gail. Mine is Romans uh, 831. Mm-hmm. Uh, what shall we then say to these things? Yes. God before us. Who? Who in the ham sandwich know. can be again? I know that. All right. Amen. Thank you, Sister Gail. Okay, Minister Zen. Next, Minister Zen coming to uh, Aquila, uh, Deacon Palin, and ended up with uh, Deacon Thomas. All right, 12 and 18. Mm-hmm. If it is possible, as much as lieth in you, live, live peaceable Ooh, with all men. Mm, mm, mm. Amen. Amen. You said it, Lord. Minister, um, <laughs> then which number was that? That was 12 and 18. 12, 18. Thank Roman. you. You're welcome. Sister Kathy, you have one? You know, I'll piggyback with um, Sister Wanda Bennett, but oh, I also Okay, I'm sorry. Like, wait a minute, wait a minute, but I also like 19. Go ahead. Dearly beloved. Avenge not I your sound like Prince. Huh? <laughs> I sound like Prince, dearly Come beloved. On, Bill. <laughs> you know it's getting close to 9 30. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So nothing give place unto wrath, for it is written, revenge is mine. Amen. I will repay, said the amen. Lord. Amen and amen. I use that when I get upset. Yeah. Oh, Lord. And do it work. <laughs> Okay, uh, brother. Oh, Romans fifteen thirteen. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, Sister Michon. We can come back to you. Which one you got, Sister Michon? Um, Romans fifteen thirteen. Go ahead. Let's hear it. Um, may God of hope fill you with oh, yeah. all joy and peace as you trust in Him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of. The Holy Spirit. Oh, beautiful. Right. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing that Amen. one, Sister Michonne. We all needed that one. Amen. Wonderful. That's a good one. This is a, um, Aquila. What you got, Aquila? Well, Romans That's 8, That's 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. There's therefore now no condemnation mm -hmm. to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. Mm -hmm. For the love of the Spirit it is the life of Christ Jesus that made me free from the law of sin and death. Amen and amen. All right, brother, you're ready to preach. <laughs> sister right. Denise, coming to you, Sister Rhonda Thomas. And then Deacon Thomas, we're going to be ready for the offering. Romans 12, 2. Okay. Do not conform to this world, but mm. transform by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Amen, amen. Bless you, Deacon. Deacon Rhonda, you got one? Or did you already have a piggyback? Yeah, mine was from 828. Okay, praise the Lord. Reverend, you got one? You want to share tonight? Who did I miss? Oh, Cousin Denise? Yes, I got Romans 12, verse 3. Mm-hmm. Denise, Denise. <laughs> Denise, cousin Denise. But, but I say through the grace given to me to every man that is among you not to think of himself more highly oh, yeah. than he ought to think, but to think soberly <laughs> according oh, yeah. as God has yeah. dealt to every, every man the measure of faith. Amen. 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 God bless you, Cousin Denise. Reverend Golden, you got one you want to share tonight? Yes, I do. I yeah. have so many in Romans. That is true. But I like uh, 837. Nay, in all things, we are more than conquerors through, through him that loved us. Yes. Wow. Yes. Amen. That's a good one, too. Yes. Anybody else? Did we? 
okay, we praise God and we're thanking God. This was a good lesson tonight. Amen. 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 We recorded, amen. We recorded amen. the whole thing and y'all know Pastor Golden going to watch it. Mm -hmm. So we're yeah. honoring God even now and thanking God for his wonderful faithfulness. We're going to ask Deacon Thomas to come now for our offering. So let's get our offering out right now. Deacon Thomas. Thank you. Good evening, New Unity. We are going to prepare now to give our gifts of our um, offering on this evening. And I want to begin each week, every time I'm given this opportunity to make the appeal, to first say thank you. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your consistency in giving. None of this would be possible without your faithfulness to the kingdom. And New Unity, as we all know, we've been through a year, um, you know, of uncertainties and up and downs. But as I've been doing the financials for the year of 2020, God has indeed been good to New Unity. God Amen. has blessed us. And that is because of our obedience of putting God first. So I say thank you again to everyone from $1 to $10,000. Every penny is needed. Every penny is appreciated. And God honors our cheerful giving. Remember our three ways in which you can give, which is our cash app, dollar sign, New Unity Baltimore, our Tidely app, T-I-T-H-E dot L-Y, or you can mail in to P.O. Box 313, Chase Merlin, 21027. Now let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for the gift of this day. We thank you, Lord God, that we were able to come together tonight, Lord, under the snow and fellowship and grow in your grace and in knowledge. We ask that you bless this offering tonight. Bless every giver, whatever way you give. We say thank you, Lord. We ask that you honor our giving. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 amen and amen. Indeed, this has been a rich night, New Unity. Yes, and we're thanking the Lord for how he has blessed us and he's met us here tonight. Amen. 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 When amen. I heard, when I heard this, when I just say about that snow, it made me Google because I said, oh, let me find this snow in the Bible. And we find it here in this oldest book of the Bible, Job 37, 6, that reminds us, what to the snow, he says, fall on the earth, likewise Amen. to the downpour, his mighty downpour. Amen. And indeed, we're grateful for the wonderful time we've had here tonight. The fact that we could come to church and it's snowing outside and we didn't even have to leave our houses. Amen. Amen. Who wouldn't serve a God like this? You ain't even had to shovel nothing. Brother mm -hmm. Phil, I thought about you and Brother Kearney. Y'all oh, ain't had to goodness. shovel no sidewalk. Yes. You ain't had to lay no salt. Lord have mercy. I, God <laughs> Almighty. Trust and believe. I, it, it certainly came to my mind. All you had to do was look out the window and say, wow, that's snow really coming down out there. Right? <laughs> yes. And so we're grateful to the Lord, New Unity, and thanking God for each of you, keeping each other in prayer. Anybody have any announcements or anything we need to be mindful of that the church needs to be made aware of? You can receive those now. If anybody has any, anybody have any prayer requests? Well, uh, let me just say, of course, the men's fellowship will be this coming Saturday at 3 in the afternoon. Three, Amen. Three Amen. Calling all cars, calling all male cars Saturday yes. at three, meeting us in Zoom two Zoom for two. the Mighty Men of Valor Fellowship. Anybody else have any um, announcements or any things we need to be made aware of? Isn't Joshua Saturday? We do have our full Joshua on Saturday, 9.45 a.m. Praise the Lord. Anybody else have something? Just keep my brother in prayer as he's... Uh, Healing from COVID, he did test positive. Um, I did go get tested and I was negative. So Praise the Lord. just keep him in prayer as we can't see each other, but you know, I'm sending my love up to him. Amen, Sister Ronnie. Amen. And we're keeping Amen. you all in prayer. Yeah. Amen. We have many in our in our circle as our circles are getting closer and closer that this COVID is touching more and more. Before it was just somebody we heard about on the news. But more and more is people we know and we love and we see. And so we're just praying even now. Thank God for the vaccines and that they're being distributed. But we're still wearing our masks and still keeping our distance until the vaccinations have gone, you know, pandemic worldwide. Amen. Amen. So thank you, God. We're going to ask um, in this closing moment that we would have our very own minister, Zen Smith, if she would close us out in a benediction. 
and then we'll be ready to go up, be on our way. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for this time we gathered today. We laughed, we learned, and we had fun. Amen. Lord Jesus, that's what you are all about. May we share yeah. that love and fun with others, Father God, so that they can truly yeah. know Thank how you. great you are. Continue to be with us, guide us and bless us, and keep us as only you can. Oh, yeah. Say thank you for all of your blessings. Thank you, with our pastor Thank and for his family. Yes, Lord. Bless, us, bless them, Lord. And, Good and Lord. bless and look after us all. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. One, thing I, one thing I do want to say, guys, as we're parting even now, you know, we asked everybody to have apples because we was going to have apple fellowship tonight with Pastor Golden. And since he didn't get on um, with us tonight, anybody bring their apples anyway? And I'm I was, oh, Marion got, oh, okay. Sister Marion got a nice shiny up. Yes, yes, one sack. Hey, that's a good shiny one. This and is so the apple for snow that Snow White ate. Oh, well, don't eat that one. Right. And so, um, <laughs> and so we do want to. Why would you bring a poison that's apple? Sister so, oh Denise. Gosh. I mean, is it the real apple, Sister Denise? Or? No, it's not. No, and so, not. And so we do want to say when we come on Sunday, let's bring our apples so we'll still be able to share in the moments after worship um, with Pastor, sharing our apples with them on Sunday, okay? okay. okay. I have to guys. buy another one because I'm getting ready to eat this one. Okay, Sister Marion. <laughs> okay. God, God bless you all and let's just continue to pray one for another. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. This, this is the last, this is our last. This um, is, you're exactly right.